Hey guys, Blue Suit here back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video and today we're taking a look at my Season 10 build for Branded Cyber Dragon. So, Season 10, I've reached Diamond as you can see. So, I'm back at Diamond 4 which was my highest rank last season. But this time, I did some few changes for my Branded Cyber Dragon deck and I went with the usual 45 card setup that I used to run last season. However, what changed here is that I put 12 board breakers on this deck apart from already having 6 hand traps. So this branded cyber dragon deck is more focused on just um, straightforward destroying your board using blowout cards instead of um, spamming your, your opponent's field or your field with fusions until you have enough um, attack power to just OTK them. I mean, you can do the same OTK fusion spam that you can perform with the old branded cyber dragon build I posted, the one with Fright Fur. That Fright Fur package is really handy. However, I decided to go with a more straightforward approach that just uh, wrecks boards and just goes a bit more aggressive than the usual. So let's take a look. So for the cyber dragon engine, uh, three cyber dragon core. The usual two hertz just for the foolish just to get um og cyber dragon the usual and for the cyber dark package it's one cyber dark chimera one cyber dark realm and one power bond and of course you need three cyber emergency so that's the only cyber dragon spell card you need apart from realm so that's cool and next we have the branded engine so Despian Tragedy, this is mainly just to Foolish Burial so you can get an Aluber. So Aluber at 2. Aluber is your second best or uh, tied for first best normal summon because Core gets you the Power Bond line. Aluber gets you the Branded line. If you're able to do uh, do both thanks to brand Opening, which will soon be uh, semi-limited, that's a really great step. So you can uh, execute both Cyber Dragon and Branded Place at the same time thanks to Aluber and Core. Fallen of Albas, two of them, just to uh, help you uh, help you resolve Branded Fusion. So you just send this to Graveyard. This is a Branded and Red target, so really, really handy. And then for Hand Traps, 3 Maxi because I want to punish decks that special summon a lot. And usually with uh, the meta being mostly branded and sword so you'll at least get two draws at most which is decent off of a maxi so that's cool next is ash blossom a mandatory hand trap just kills a lot of searches kills branded fusion and that's a really good uh card so ash blossom if you're not running ash blossom in your Yu-Gi-Oh deck you're either playing a control deck or you need to craft this as soon as possible Okay, next is um, just some extra tech. So Foolish Burial. So Foolish Burial is used for either Despin Tragedy or Hurts. So you can get um, a Luber if you um, mill Tragedy or OG Cyber Dragon if you mill Hurts. So just for extension, really handy. And um, anti hand trap tech, we have um, two Called by the Grave, the usual. And of course, the branded stuff. Three branded fusion because we can run three of those, run as many of, as you can. Um, three branded opening. This will be too soon, so the deck would look a bit different. Well, it's just minus one card, so it, it will just look like this. So after the ban list, but for now, max copies of branded opening as many as you can because branded opening allows you to go um, to your branded fusion, allows you to search branded fusion off of a Luber or branded in red. And you can also normal summon the Cyber Dragon Core at the same turn because of this, so really good. Branded in Red allows you to fusion summon their opponent's turn, so you can go into like Guardian Chimera, which is a really good pop card, and allows you to draw as well. Or you can go Masquerade, just uh, let your opponent pay life points for burn damage, and that's really cool. And now I guess we can take a look at the best part of the deck, or the craziest part of the deck, the Board Breaker. So, Going second, you need just a lot of board breakers to break your opponent's board, destroy your back row, destroy opponent's monsters, just um, equalize the board in your favor and allow you to OTK smoother than before. So 
for my board breakers we have two dino wrestler pancrotops so pancrotops is really cool because uh it's a free special summon kind of like og cyber dragon so the special summon works that if your opponent controls more monsters than you you can special summon this card and the best part is it's a 2600 attack monster so you can go battle phase attack and then use the quick effect to pop one card on your opponent's side of the field so really handy now that it's a two you can draw it more often next is uh one regeki so i might be able to put two regeki on this deck with branded opening being semi-limited but for now one regeki is fine and regeki is just a simple destroy all your monsters uh, all your opponent's monsters kind of card so really really handy Harpy's Feather Duster is destroy your opponent's back row, always handy, especially against control decks like Eldritch and even Flu Wanderies, where, you know, if they have map and if they have the trap card set, you know, you just blow it up. Next up, three Lightning Storm. So, Lightning Storm is really good because you can either use uh, the Regeki like effect or the Duster effect. So, you can just either break back row or break uh, attack position monster. So, Three of them for max uh for maximum efficiency so just there and next up um super polymerization arguably the best board breaker against branded despia right now because you can just discard one card fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either field so you can use two monsters on your opponent's side of the field to turn it into like uh starving venom fusion dragon or predapan Drago Stapelia, so really cool. Three Forbidden Droplet just to negate opponent's monster effects on the field. Just as long as you have enough discards for it, really good. Um, having this at three is really great because the decks like Fluanderies and Sword Soul have annoying face up effects, so you need to negate them as soon as possible. So to get your play started, just, uh, just that. And I guess that's a main deck, so 45 cards. So as I said, branded opening will be semi-limited, so it will kind of look like this soon, I guess. So, so two regeki instead of uh, three branded openings, since I can't do that anymore soon. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the post list build, I guess. But now let's go with the extra deck. So, Hematic Rampage Dragon. So very straightforward. This can attack three times by milling two Cyber Dragon monsters. And it can pop back row up to the number of materials used to fusion summon. So you can pop at least two cards on the back row. And the triple attack means that you can at least do 6,300 on an open field. Or if you use Seeger, you can go 12k. And if you're on Power Bond, you can also do 12k. But if you have Seeger and Power Bond, you can just 18k and destroy your opponent in just two hits. Really cool. Cyber Twin Dragon is really great on this deck because there are times that Rampage is a bit more risky to summon because its mill effect um, can be hit by Ash Blossom, whereas Cyber Twin Dragon has a continuous effect where it can make a second attack during each battle phase. So this is sometimes a better OTK um, game ender than Chimera Tech Rampage, depending on the board state, so really cool. Next up, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, just in case your opponent has machine monsters or plays a machine deck, so you can just remove it. Starving Venom and Predator Plant Drago Stapelia are your two super poly targets. You can replace Starving Venom Fusion Dragon with a Mud Dragon, and that's uh, this is good. But uh, Starving Venom allows you to have like a huge dark monster beat stick and if this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all your opponent's special summon monsters, so that's really neat. Um, Draco Sapelli is cool because you have a face-up monster negate that you can use and it's a quick effect, so that's cool. Now we go to our branded stuff, so 2 Albion, so 2 Albion just allows you to summon like Rampage, Twin, Rebellion, or even just go straight for Mirror Jade. So really cool. Masquerade allows you to just uh, have that 600 burn damage, and it can come back after it gets destroyed, although the burn effect is no longer applicable. Mirror Jade is really cool because it has a quick effect banish, and that's always great. 
And, you know, if it gets destroyed, it can regeki your opponent's uh, monsters by the end phase. So, always great to have. Um, People are debating whether having two is great or just having one. So, either way, I think having two is great insurance. One Rebellion. So, Rebellion is like Albion. Just gives you, like, um, extra fusion summon. And what I like about Rebellion is that it can return... The, f the fusion materials it uses can be returned to the deck. So, it's always great for um, grind game situ scenarios. And plus, it just retrieve some stuff. Um, what I like doing with Rebellion is summoning something with an Albaz. So, returning Albaz so I can reuse branded fusion just in case I need an... I need to use it for another turn to win. So that's really cool. Guardian Chimera, your premier branded in red target. So always handy because it can pop cards on the field and you can draw. So always great to have. 3,300 attack is also nothing to uh, un nothing to underestimate. So it's really cool. Uh, Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. So if there's any monster on your opponent's extra monster zone and you have a Cyber Dragon on field, use that cyber dragon plus the extra monster zone monster and now you have great removal so it's basically like a kaiju but cyber dragon cyber dragon Zeger is your main link monster and this just allows you to push for a game if you're if you have like a chimera tech rampage or a cyber twin and you just boost their attack for a game and that's really cool and lastly, Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. So Verte Anaconda is pretty interesting here because on pure Cyber Dragon, Verte Anaconda is like part of your main combo to go into Rampage and win the game. However, uh, Verte here is more of an emergency option. I use it just in case my branded lines or my other Cyber Dragon fusion lines are negated and I just go into Verte, go copy branded fusion and go into mirror jade because you can't summon anything else after you use verte's effect so emergency scenarios verte is great on a in a pinch but it's no longer the game winning card like it once was in pure cyber travel however it's really handy to have so that's it for the main deck and extra deck so this is a really neat package and I just have the only adjustment you do post ban list as uh as I said earlier is just remove branded opening and maybe add another regeki or another extra board breaker of your choice, uh, whichever fits well. Now I guess we can take a look at the replays. So replays, oh not this one. So replays, uh we have like four replays. Um, the other ones I'll just show you the very basic cyber dragon combos like I always do. And let's take a look at some um, longer games. We have a, an 8 turn here and a 4 turn one here. So now let's take a look at the first replay. So this one is again Sword Soul. So I have Pancratops and Lightning Storm. And let's just say this, uh, this is a pretty weak board, but I just want to show you like what Pancratops can do and what uh, and how it can help you break this board. So um, I go Pancratops, opponent summons Max C. I go called by, Baron negates it, and then I chain Pancratops so I can pop Baron. And while I'm under Maxi, it's fine. So I break back row using Lightning Storm, and they have Blackout and Dragon Circle. Blackout is dead because they don't have a Worm Monster in field, so I wonder why they have they set it. Maybe just to make me scared of their back row. But anyway. I go to Branded Fusion, I summon Albion, so so important here, Chain Link 1 Albion, Chain Link 2 Hertz, just to get your Cyber Dragon play. And for this case, I just go for game with Cyber Twin, and um, Albion plus 2 Cyber Twin attacks is equals uh, 8100 I guess, so that's pretty much game. 
and as you can see I didn't really care about what what they would draw off Maxi because um if it were a Nibiru they wouldn't be able to activate it because I was only able to do two summons there. And that's really cool. Next up we have um Branded Despia, which is pretty interesting. Branded Despia is arguably one of the trickiest matchups against Branded Cyber Dragon because um they're able to use the full branded toolbox unlike Cyber Dragon where we only mostly use it for the OTK play. So this is another great hand with um Pancratops and Lightning Storm. So this is a pretty weird scenario here. So I think I was able to play slow here. So I go Pancratops and I attack the set card. So it was a snow. Kind of a bad monster to attack and I just set super poly plus Despin tragedy here so they draw patchwork so they get um poly and edge imp chain so that's really cool now they go allure of darkness so that's like two more draws so let's fast forward so they go allure here and branded fusion so this is just uh really difficult so rebellion so Rebellion effect, I think they're gonna summon Mirror Jade here, so Mirror Jade beat stick. So what I did here, uh, open Super Poly, discard one card, and I turned their Mirror Jade and Aluber into a Dragos Tapelia, and even though that might, um, even though that the Mirror Jade graveyard effect will destroy my monsters, uh, I at least stopped their board, and also stopped uh, Branded in Red from being activated on my turn, so pretty cool. And they wasted um, an Ash on my Tragedy. And the top deck of the year goes to uh, this game because I got Branded Fusion on the next turn. They, once again, they go Maxi. However, I go Albion here. And... I go Rebellion here, just for a bit of a different play, so I extend it. And I go Mirror Jade here, for the Banish, and Tragedy, so I go Recycle Branded uh, Fusion. And my Cyber Dark Realm got negated, so what I'll do is just direct attack, but they have a Snow, so that Snow came to haunt me. So the Snow... Put my card face down, but I just banish the stone, even though my mirror jade will go face down. So they go branded opening, which is nasty. So they get another copy of Brand Fusion, and then they go Albaz to super poly my monster to go into a second rebellion. They go branded fusion. But this was weird because I think they could have used a different material unless. You know, they were out of Albaz to use. So they go uh, Albion to get another Branded in Red, which is always good. And then I use the same effect to get Branded Opening. So I go Foolish Burial here, go Hurts, and I just wanted to retrieve my OG Cyber Dragon. And they go Branded in Red a bit too early here. So they go Summon... Drago Stapelia, which is fine. So I go Albion here, trying to bait the Drago Stapelia effect, which is successful. And then I go Branded in Red to get Albaz back and um, summon another Mirror Jade on my end. So just destroy and. Destroy that Aluber, and pretty much I'm set. So, and open. <laughs> well, they scooped, and because they probably knew what was gonna happen after that, and that's it. So next one is um, another branded Despia. So this is how. Uh, this time it's an OPK duo. So that's pretty cool. So 
So I have Maxi here and a Pancratops, which is really neat. And Brand Fusion Chain Maxi to punish. And they still stay summon, so it's good. So I got two called by the Brave, which is something I didn't need. Could have wanted this to be a core or a Goober. So they go into Mirror Jade and I get Branded Fusion, which is neat. Then they go the usual Branded in Red set play. So I got a pretty nice hand here. So Branded Opening allows me to get a uh, special summon a Goober, maybe to get Branded in the Red here. And I can use Pancratops to force out the back row, which is always handy. So I go Pancratops, force out Branded in Red here. And I put uh, Called by the Grave on the Despian Tragedy, so that's really neat. And then um, I punish my opponent for putting their Mirror Jade in the extra monster zone by turning it into a Mega Fleet, so that's always cool. So what I do here is go Branded Opening to get um, Branded in Red. And I go Branded Fusion. And just get go Albion here. Albion to turn into Dragostapelia. And then they go into Nibiru, which is pa always painful. But I still have Cyber Dark Realm. And I have Cyber Dark Chimera. And then I use Chimera Effect to search um, Power Bond, but I got negated. But fortunately, I have an Albaz. So I go Albaz here and use three materials to go into Chimera and then I use the power bond that the Chimera search because I dodged the imperm by using it as a fusion material to go into Chimera Tech Rampage because I need three attacks here so Chimera attack Nibiru and then two attacks for game pretty handy and uh really fun duo there for an otk duo though was pretty tricky and then last one is uh my recent diamond game so this one is pretty interesting four turns so as you can see there's so many lines to go into bread and cyber dragon even without the fright for package and having extra board breakers just makes um thinking about combos way easier than before so I get the pre-cracked hand with Duster and Lightning Storm. So even though this is one back row, um, I want to just wreck back row just in case this is an imperm. And then I have Regeki and Duster in hand. So this extra board breakers. So I get Cyber Emergency. I go Realm. Search Chimera. Chimera search Power Bond. But I get Ash. So I go Verte here. So I go Verte, Branded Fusion, and into a Mirror Jade, and just attack for game. Ah, not, not for game, but attack for turn. And then they imprint my Mirror Jade, which is weird, because I can still, uh, I can still send Albion for end phase, and then they go Marincess, so this is uh, the standard Marincess combo pretty much, so... They're gonna go Blue Skull, Sea Angel. And then they're gonna go Battle Ocean, which is always annoying. They go Dive here. And then they special summon Blue Tang, which is crazy good. And then they get, um, I think it was Mandarin. And then, yeah, they're gonna Lake Climb here into Aqua Argonaut. And then Splash Mage Revive. And Coral Triangle for their uh, in-archetype imperm in Marinsa's Wave. So always cool. And then they have Spring Girl, which means they pretty much have a cracked hand. So they weren't scared of going second against me. So they're gonna go Aqua Argonaut here. And they're gonna fill that with equip cards. And bounce my Mirror Jade back. So that's sad. But hey, I have um, a few ways to remove um, Apple Argonaut and I have Brandon the Red here. I have Harpies and Regeki, so that's always good. So I let um, my opponent negate my Duster and then I go summon Cyber Dragon. 
and I go hurts so I can uh I can just uh turn the aqua argonaut into a uh, mega fleet and then search OG Cyber Dragon there. Always handy to have. And then I go branded in red. So branded in red into Albion instead of the usual branded fusion. So I go Drago Stapelia here, and then I go Regeki, and my opponent just scoops. I'm not sure if that was lethal, but hey, that was pretty close. And I guess that's it for my branded Cyber Dragon deck profile, and I think I'll give, uh, let's give that profile um, one more look, not this one. This one. So let's take a look. So this, this is 45 cards, 12 board breakers. And it's just really great, uh, really great blind going second OTK deck. And if you're a fan of that kind of play style, this is arguably the best OTK deck right now in Master Duel. It's uh, it's pretty consistent, all things considered. It allows you to have access to multiple fusion summons, gives you enough board breakers to find ways to disrupt your opponent. Uh, Maxi and Ash are always really good, so you know that there's no problem there. And there's just so much to love about this deck, and this is a really fun deck to play if you want to play Cyber Dragon in Master Duel, and it's really great this format. But that's it for my branded Cyber Dragon deck update, and um, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like more Cyber Dragon content, you can take a look at my channel and subscribe if you do enjoy it. That would be really cool. And you can check out my previous videos on the best Link Event decks because the Link Event is ongoing and the best Master Duel budget decks, which is uh, also a great choice if you want to start at, if you're still starting at the game and don't have enough gems. So you can uh, pick cheap decks to play in Master Duel with that video. So it's really cool. But that's it for this video and thank you for watching and see you next time. So bye.